Hi. Nowadays, machine learning has become a part of routine processes. It's not rocket science or a luxury anymore. Every second customer asks whether we can provide solutions for feature engineering, feature stores and ML orchestrators. Most of you probably know Kimunda as a well-known and time-proven solution for process automation. But surprisingly, it also feeds some of the more general ML-oriented tasks too. Kamunda utilizes widespread notations such as DMN and BPM and is easy to read for both programmers and business analysts. In some scenarios, you are even able to draw a complete business process using Kamunda's visual model without writing a single line of Java code. Kamunda also provides a user interface for monitoring and process deployment. I mean Kamunda Cockpit, Kamunda Admin Panel and others. All these features, a strong community backing and high maturity have made Kimunda an industry standard for process automation. Kimunda is embeddable, so you can wrap its execution engine into a Spring Boot application by adding dependencies and also take advantage of the microservices approach out of the box. What do you need to operate a Kimunda's microservice in production? You need a CI-CD pipeline to create an executable jar, for example using Maven package, and a Docker image. A runtime, Kubernetes would be a nice option, but you can use any container platform you want. A database that fits your capacity requirements. Postgres would be a good start. If you want to know more about capacity planning in Kimunda Embedded, just let me know in the comments. Basically, this stack is not too demanding in terms of hardware. A process that contains 5 to 10 synchronous API calls and 5 to 10 internal calculations may process approximately 5 executions per second using 2 CPUs and 4 GB of RAM. Each process stage in Kimunda may be implemented as an external task, a script, or a piece of Java code. The latter is the most interesting features in today's talk. More on this later. Imagine that you have a set of machine learning models where each subsequent model uses the output of the previous one and each model is deployed as a standalone RESTful service. In this scenario, an external orchestrator should invoke these models according to a predefined process diagram in a specific order. For sure, the orchestrator is also responsible for data preparation or, in other words, some sort of feature engineering. Before the first model is called, the orchestrator has to collect and calculate an input vector. After the first model is called, the orchestrator can evaluate the output results, make decisions, enrich the process data model by calling external sources and finally create an input vector for the next model. The orchestration may seem complicated, but that's not so bad. The process can be described in terms of a BPMN diagram. Each step will represent some action or a piece of logic to execute, while the arrows will connect these actions in the right order. There are so-called delegate expressions in Kimunda. In a nutshell, a delegate expression is a plain spring bean that implements the Java delegate interface. The letter has only one method called execute. Any custom logic should be implemented here. A process context, including variables, can be stored in the shared context under delegate execution. 
Each piece of logic implemented in the execution method basically takes process variables from the context, uses them for subsequent processing or external calls, and finally stores results in the same context. Since the class implementing the Java Delegate interface is a simple bean, you're able to use all the dependency injection features. Delegate expressions are great for short-lived processes that don't contain long-running human tasks. This approach allows you to design complex processes. So if you need an application to automate brain to machine learning cascades with quite complex feature engineering and enrichments in between, consider using Spring-based community microservices. My name is Alex Sergenke. I hope this talk was not so boring. Feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day.